Hey, what's up? It's Jim, and today I'm going to talk about the film Last Days of Coney Island. This is the new short film by Ralph Bakshi. It's his first animated short in a very long time. I think this millennium, it probably has been at least 15 or 17 years or so, unless there's smaller shorts that I'm forgetting about or couldn't find information about. But it is his big return and of course that's something i would definitely want to see and i think most people who are into animation should see ralph bakshi he's an important figure in underground and independent animation and animation history in general and it was a big moment i've been hearing about this movie what was originally going to be i guess a feature which he pitched to pixar and dreamworks but they didn't pick it up and then eventually he did on kickstarter and made this short and i'm glad he actually got to make it it's an anthology film and it only follows a few characters mostly because it's 22 minutes but it follows a nypd detective max and his prostitute girlfriend molly and after she is arrested in a sting that he's participating in to get a raise and the complications with that and this kid shorty who's always wanted to be a big person in coney island always dreamed of being one and then becomes a major figure in coney island and this is coney island of the 1960s of yesteryear and how life used to be in kind of this rundown amusement park district of New York. Ralph Bakshi, he did this also with American Pop. When you'd hear of a director taking on a subject like this, you'd imagine they're going to look at it in a very nostalgic view or with rose-tinted glasses and not really show the times for what it is. It's like an imagined nostalgic view. Bakshi never does that, which I've always very much respected about him. He does it in very much like a classic studio way, but also in a way that shows the good of those times, but also the wear and tear on people and the tragedy of that time period. Kennedy's assassination plays a lot into this film. There's various film clips that play throughout it that cut between that and the animation he's really good at kind of capturing i mean i wasn't alive then so maybe he's really off and it's not like that at all but it felt like he was capturing in a way that felt real it felt like he was really capturing a time period you're getting the grime as well as the goodness when he's looking at a time period which i've always liked and i think last days of coney island shows that ralph bakshi hasn't lost that at all which is great the animation is a lot rougher than the pictures i saw online years and years ago that are on the wikipedia page of what this film would look like and at first the, i found that jarring but as the film progresses i kind of got into it and i like the more sketchier rough style that ralph bakshi was presenting in this he didn't really have a a lot of animators who worked on this he even commented in interviews he used to have hundreds of animators and tons of crews and millions of dollars to try to pull even something like this off and it's not as refined as his feature work there's a certain flow to the animation there's a feel to the animation there's a surrealness to the animation that i haven't seen in his films before i like that quality to it that it's mainly him animating and other people did help but he was the lead animator on this film it has more of a personal quality but you know he has been painting a lot of this time and working on more artwork. It's more of an arty film than I've seen from him previously. I had to watch this film a couple of times to really feel like I got it. The first time I felt like I didn't get things and I felt like I needed to watch it again. Unfortunately, when you rent it, it's about $4 or $3.99 and you only have a 24-hour window, which is actually short for a video on demand or rental kind of things online. They usually give you about 48 hours. That's not a criticism of Ralph Bakshi. That's a criticism of Vimeo where you can rent and watch this film. And I kind of wish I could could have watched it a few more times. Each time I watched it, I liked it more and I understood it more. And there's not a lot of films I've experienced like that, or short films, where I keep thinking about it and go, yeah, but I think I want to watch it again. And I ended up watching it about three times. And that's not something I've done with a lot of shorts. And there's kind of a weird quality to it where you get kind of sucked in, where you're wondering, what does this film clip mean? How does this connect? Why did that person say this? And it feels a lot denser than his previous work. Not not to say his previous work wasn't dense it just felt very dense it felt like there were a lot of ideas going on and i don't know if i got everything to be honest i tried to watch as much as i could to try to get everything but that's an interesting way to come back to come back from a completely different viewpoint this isn't the kind of film where a band reunites and they try to do like a celebrating their kind of a style kind of comeback this is him presenting where he is as an artist now and in a lot of ways that's a lot better for him to do that's why you get a much better short film than if he had just done the Ralph Bakshi style of the 70s I think this is a much more complete vision than just kind of recapturing something because you know it would be very 
successful. This is a little more daring than that. I don't think this short is necessarily for everyone. If you're not really a Bakshi fan, I don't know if I'd recommend it, and I don't think it'll really probably be among his best work, but it's still a very interesting short film. It's a short film I kept thinking about. Like, the plot, you can understand, but I don't know if I completely understood what he was doing with the film clips. I don't know if I completely understood exactly everything that was going on within it, and that was interesting for an animated film, because I don't feel like animation gets to do that as much. I don't know if this was always going to be a short. I got the impression he wanted to do more of a feature, or if he's going to do more shorts in the series, but I would be down for it. It feels like people always say that when they think of dense, kind of artier, stranger things that you can write theories about. They bring up David Lynch. I don't want to say that as much, but kind of that sort of vibe, if you know what I mean, is kind of more in this than I really expected, and I like that about it. I think the first time you watch it, you might be, like, taken aback. Like, why does the animation look so rough? What's going on here? You could almost disregard it because of that, but I strongly recommend you don't, because it's a much better film. By the third time, I was like, I really like this. He came back in a way that showed he had something else to say, rather than saying the same thing again and us praising him for it. I think this shows that he's still got something up his sleeve, and I don't know how well it's doing on Vimeo or anything like that. If it does do well, I'd be open to seeing another short film from Ralph Bakshi. It might be a little rougher than you expect, it might be a little different. He's been gone for so long, and I'm sure he's had life experiences in that time, and he's really changed as a person, and you can see that in Last Days of Coney Island. And I kind of like that reflection within this film that you see of him. I do kind of wonder if when I just go through the density of this film and try to fully understand it, if maybe there won't be as much there as I think there is or something like that. As much as I like the rough animation, I would like to see, if he continues to make shorts, what he looks like as he develops. Because I feel like this is just kind of a beginning of opening up of him making more shorts, and I feel like this is almost like a rougher kind of pilot feel to it. Overall, I like that about it. I'm not going to say this is, like, bad, or I don't think this was awful, or because the animation was rougher, that makes for a weaker vision. I think this is one of the more interesting shorts I've ever seen. Interesting in a way that isn't like just around like, oh, interesting. And you have the appearance of thinking about it. I really was thinking about this film quite a bit. A lot of his films, I haven't done that with as much as I've done that with this film. And I think that says something about how this is different from the rest of his filmography and how he's grown as an artist in the meantime. So if you have seen Last Days of Coney Island and you would like to talk about it, then comment below in the comments and subscribe if you would like to. If you'd like to see this short film, I will have a link in the description. If you're watching this when I made this review, then it will be at that link. If you're watching this later, I hope it's still there. But I will have a link in the description so you could watch and rent Last Days of Coney Island if you'd like to. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. I want to